What's up everybody? This is GCXVU and today I will be doing an unboxing of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. First of all, just to let you know it's 6359 in the state of Maryland from Savannah Park. Yeah, that one right there. And uh, I already uh, did some parts to this where they cut it in half. And the uh, plastic thing here, I need to uh, take off. And now, I am just unwrapping just the freaking plastic. Of course, there's nothing really that special about uh, Call of Duty because, you know, everything in Call of Duty is the basic, very the same gameplay, of course. The only thing they just changed is just the characters, the story plot, and some game modes they, they added, including they have the bonus map of Nuketown 2012 included. The funny thing is, I did not pre-order this at all. I just bought this game like earlier today, like one day afternoon. And now it's like a red night time, as you can see. Not that much. So, uh, yeah, pretty much came home late. <laughs> yeah, of course. And of course, this is the CD everybody knows. So yeah, it's for PlayStation. And this one here, we got the new Town 2012. Yada yada yada. Uh, some I don't know. So this is just the instructions how to do it. And of course, you need to have the manual. Without the manual, you can't have a good game. Of course, every goddamn game has to have a manual. But none of that for this moment. Because at this moment, at this juncture, or how our president says it, uh, welcome to Nuketown 2025. 20, so basically, let's hope they actually have this, uh, this map for zombies. If they have this map for zombies, I will be impressed. Because, and when I play this game, of course, this, uh, Black Ops 2, what they say, they say it's the best and all, like, and, uh, anticipated, all this stuff, so many, uh, celebrities and all. But, uh, that's not gonna worry me at all. The thing is, when I play this game, no more multiplayer. Oh, yeah, of course. The reason why I'm saying this is because great Call of Duty players nowadays, they will just complain, insult, and all that stuff. So I'm like, I can't complain, but that don't matter. And right here, I got W13 up here, uh, with my goddamn controller. Ah, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, there you are. Here's my controller. Unplug this baby in. Throw it on. So, uh, time to, uh, take up this disc and put on Black Ops 2. And, of course, I have to wait, because you have to, like, download the damn big game data and all that stuff you need to do. So, basically, this sucker right here, this Black Ops 2, you know, I'll just put it in here anyway. Look, anyways, there's one thing I forgot to mention when, uh, I'm about my, uh, setup here. I got my keyboard there for W13, because I'm currently working on story mode and stuff. Yeah, and also W12. And this is Black Ops 2, as you can see in my thing here. <laughs> Sorry about the bad quality, because this is right on my cell phone. I don't have my PS Vita at the moment. If I wore this, qual this quality on my cell phone, would be better. It would make it better. But on my cell phone, you can see this blur effect and all that. I, c I won't be able to uh, put it like, you know, this sharp because it's fucking, you know, not sharp enough. The thing is, I can't do my all of my focus on, on the cell phone because you get the blur effect and everything, all this stuff. So uh, even if you look at the light, it's bright, of course. You can tell. But uh, you do get to see some... Uh, Kind of like a HD like feel, but anyways, uh, here's a version 1.3. This thing here, yeah. So let update the latest version. I'm like, and then it takes like forever for every single new game. And it's pretty much like this. But this game is self-explanatory, people. I'm like, come on, this is just Call of Duty. 
there's nothing special about it. Like I said, uh, just the bonus map of Nuketown 2025. You got campaign, you got multiplayer, and you got zombies. I know there are a lot of people that only for this game for multiplayer that I know they're like tryhards but all that stuff but I don't care it doesn't matter anymore but in this game um I might be thinking of doing uh probably like some videos of zombies this one here because I, I really want to figure out the story like what happened like from Rick Tofin and all the stuff from the original Black Ops so uh, that would be pretty interesting but uh, I'll be more focused on campaign. The thing is, uh, I have to finish this up first, so I know if if it's actually a direct sequel to Black Ops, I will finally understand like how Frank Woods and all this stuff, etc., etc. So what happened to Bowman or something? And the funny thing is about about Black Ops, the first one. Why did they have to kill a Bowman? I'm like, come on, is it because he's black? I'm like, really, people. Every single movies, every single video games, TV shows, they always kill off the black person. I'm like, come on, we're not racist here or anything. I'm just saying, I'm like, come on. In Black Ops 2, I, I even barely won't even see some black people in here. They're like, majority just white. I, I'm not being a supremacist or anything like that. No, I'm just, I'm just concerned about this because this racism is really getting on my nerves because a lot of people think that I'm Mexican and stuff. By the way, I look and all. No, I'm not. I'm Filipino because I, I show more of my, my Asian side. Even though from the way I talk, I know some people say I, I might sound like too white or too black because I can speak very proper English and stuff. So, uh, yeah. But oh, who cares anyway? But like I said, I'm not I'm not here to uh, offend anybody by any racist jokes or anything like that. No, that's just not me at all. But anyway, this is my unboxing already, and uh, this is the controller. I will be using. It's a pretty cool controller. I only use this for only for FPS games, even though this is the PlayStation layout. You got the triangle, square, X, and circle. It's just like the Xbox, but uh, in the Xbox, the D-pad is very different. I, I'm not, I'm not saying like different, different like uh, you know, like the 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 rubber thing, whatever you call it, how you feel it. But on this one, it's just, it's just on the PS3, just the the directional thing mashup. But the analogs, they're doing just fine. It's just like the Xbox, but this is. Connect on my PlayStation 3 right there. My key, my keyboard. I got some. I got that controller right over there too. But uh, I'm mostly will use this one the most on all my FPS games. And oh yeah, I have an update too as well. Let me check real oh, quick. This is my game case. So what all the games that I currently have, I got Mario for three. Uh, wait, whoa, what's Mario for three in here? There's something supposed to be there. Damn, this is my wrestling thing here. Oh, I got the pro wrestling, more wrestling. I mean, there you go. I'm th I'm just putting this in order. That's what I don't. I'm, I think I probably it's my brother that did this, or probably his friends that came over like couple couple weeks ago or something. So yeah. Oh come on, put it in. Oh bugger, hold on. Gosh damn it. There you go. Oh, fellow Lobo! Get in! There, shit. I'm gonna make this all perfect and shit. Okay, there, you got one over for two. Yeah, I really don't play this game at all, mostly just campaign. Same with this. Black Ops, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Mag, I haven't touched this game for a while. I know I just did the game data, but I will eventually do some, uh, that's uh, not a let's play series, just, you know, just, that's a simple gameplay, let me just, probably just running around and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the game that I recently bought, and I'm going to do a let's play series out of this, so, uh, this will be on my gaming channel, GCXBU, but, uh, this unboxing, of course, will be on my entertainment, entertainment channel, as always, like, through the, all the other unboxings I've done 
from uh, the 3DS, my PS Vita and stuff. So yeah, this is the stuff. So I got a lot of good games I have. Gotta have Resident Evil 5. I know there are a lot of fans that love Resident Evil, Grand Theft Auto, Tekken, Duke Nukem, Metal Gear Solid Homefront, uh, Mag, and oh, um, uh, Call of Duty. I'm not really interested in this in the most. Because this is actually my brother's most favorite game because he loves that car, that car 98 that he always does. He, he does like little bathroom. So when he, he just pops up the sniper, then boom, headshot. So uh, that's his game. I don't touch his game at all. I really don't play it. So I let my brother play it this all the time. This one, me and my brother play this, mostly zombies, zombies now, but, uh, but what I got to say about the zombies, it's pretty awesome, like, how they actually, like, do, a, do the whole story, story plot of it with Samantha, Rick Tofen, and all the stuff, like, how it all happened with the zombies. The, the thing is, what me and my brother have discussed about the Call of Duty, they should really make a zombie game. Not just saying that's Black Ops entirely. It's it's like this. You can just say just Call of Duty Zombies. It would have been nice. Think about it. A separate game for Call of Duty that will involve the the story of zombies. Think about it. If they have zombies, everybody would be playing that game because they want to know what really happened. But we are, but now we get Black Ops Two. I don't know what they're going to do about the zombie thing. Like, if they're still continuing on from Rick Tuffin's story part or something, I don't know what, what's up, but that's the future in that game now. But in this one, I'm really interested how, I'm, I mean, not interested, I mean, I'm really happy that they have all the maps, you know, from Call of the Dead. They got, new, you got the, not new town, I mean, uh, Ascension, Shimanuma, all those stuff. They have it in here. The, but originally how it all started due to zombies is what it was because like from like I said, Shimanuma, Noto Token, this one. It, we me and my brother played this one too for zombies as well. But like I said, if they made a Call of Duty zombies, it would be awesome. It's a combination of this game Black Ops and Black Ops 2, but I'm not sure about Black Ops 2 being like, you know, the all-time superior on the zombies, but I'm, I really want to know if if they're really going to do that story plot. So that's, like I said, that's basically what I'm going to be focused on this game the most is zombies and campaign, but multiplayer, I am done, but if multiplayer has a... Uh, the, what was that combat training? Ah, uh, yes. I, will, me, and my brother will try this out and uh, well, just figure out some stuff like what's going on in combat training. So if it's combat, tra if they have combat training, I would know what it's like in multiplayer. But I am not giving multiplayer a chance at all. I'm just, I'm just simply done playing online with those guys and the stuff. Um, they all they all complain. They always talk. They like to talk shit. They, and then now we got kids playing this game. So uh, I'm I'm just done with multiplayer. So, but I can just say about this game. I can tell this is going to be a good game just for campaign and zombies. But multiplayer, that's just not me anymore. So uh, basically, I'm done with this unboxing. I got all these games that I have. Uh, continue with this one quickly. I got Tekken 6, got Mortal Kombat, got Hot Pursuit, got NBA Live 10, and that's about it for my games. So I used to have a lot, but I uh, traded in because, you know, it's, I just don't play it anymore. Like from Street Fighter 4, NBA Live 2009 and 2008. And so, yeah. But I've been playing a lot of NFL Blitz. Lately on the PSN, and now it's on 83%. As you can see, that meter right over there. So I can't wait to check out the stuff. I mean, you know, like like I said, the, like the gameplay, how smoothly it goes, or how fast, or how dreaded, 
like hit detection or whatever. So uh, yeah, pretty much. Anyways, guys, it's it's nice to have this unboxing video. Take care and uh, before before I go, please don't forget to subscribe and and uh, leave a comment down below to my uh, channel and this video as well. So uh, if you want me to make more. Let's play series or whatever, or like Super Nintendo, Call of Duty, or something. I don't know. Just like I said, you can uh, leave your comments down below. Okay, uh, I will do as much as I can. I know I just just got this game, doing this stuff, and uh, I know I got so many games I could do for Let's Play series, but I, it's gonna be hard for me to do the wrestling ones because uh, I really don't have a PVR, like, I don't, but I mostly come over to my friend's house and use his, so, uh, that's how I just roll it out there, so, oh my gosh, that's, uh, that's all I can say, and please don't forget about The Walking Dead, episode 5, coming out on the 20th, which is next week, on, uh, by, uh, Thanksgiving holiday, all right, guys, take care, and God bless.